Welcome back. In this box is the 2025 updated Acer Chromebook Plus 514, a mid-range clamshell 14-inch Chromebook Plus model. It's good to see there's a 65 watt USB-C charger included. That should support faster charging of the Chromebook. This particular one is an engineering sample sent to me for review and has an Intel Core 3100U processor with 8 gig of low power DDR5 RAM and 128 gig of universal flash storage. But in the UK, we're certainly seeing more models options with the very similar 13th gen Core i3 processor, as well as the more powerful Core 5 120U processor, but dependent on your region and availability, you may also find up to a Core 7 150U processor. We'll get more into the specs on this model range later on. Straight away in the hand, this is feeling really well put together, there's no flex to worry about, you've got an aluminium lid, you've got rounded corners on all edges now, so that's nice to see. And this color is called iron and I like the lighter silver sort of chamfered edge that it's got on it so it looks really smart and a fairly unique design with what might be antenna bands up here for the Wi-Fi on the, uh, the top edge on both sides. So that's going to help this model range stand out, easy to be spotted. And it's a 14 inch display, but it's in a taller 16 by 10 aspect ratio. So that maybe makes it look a bit more squared off, but that's pretty common for Chromebooks in 2025. Just to give a bit of added perspective on the size, here it is in the corner of an A3 mat. And I'll also grab the Acer Chromebook Plus 516. So that's the model that's got a screen two inches larger than this 514's 14 inch display. Just to again show you how it looks next to that. I'm gonna have an unboxing of that one coming up on the channel very soon. So again, as usual, if you're not already, do subscribe, do click the bell, and you'll get a notification when I publish that. This Acer Chromebook Plus 514 isn't too heavy for a 14 inch laptop. So I weighed this one in at 1.37 kg. That's about 3.02 pounds. For ports and connectivity, it's looking pretty decent. So starting on the left, there's dual USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 ports. Nice to see two, but it would have been nice to have them on either side, of course, but I can't complain too much. We've got the first of two full-size USB-A ports, a headphone microphone combo jack, and the charge LED. Over on the right hand side and we've got the second full size USB-A port, an HDMI 1.4B port and a Kensington Nano port. There's also a model SKU that will offer a SIM tray on this side, but I don't think I've seen that available in the UK yet. For wireless, this one has Wi-Fi 6E, but Wi-Fi 7 is an option on the range to look out for, and I believe it's Bluetooth 5.3. On the bottom of the Chromebook, as well as a really good stand for the Chromebook running across the whole of the back, and there's one at the front too, rather than just having four individual small feet. We've also got ventilation for the fan for those core processors. Looking at the front edge, it's really interesting to see that Acer have put a third microphone down here as well. That's as well as the two that we'll see up near the webcam when we open it up. I'm really pleased to see that the display does go back flush 180 degrees against the Chromebook's body. The keyboard deck is looking decent too, so great to see the speakers up here, either side of the keyboard. So they are DTS branded. I will test them out in the full review. So obviously subscribe and do click on that bell if you want to get notified for when I publish that. The trackpad as well. So look how large this touchpad is, a really decent size. And yeah, it's feeling well seated. It's really smooth. It's branded Ocean Glass by Acer, but again, that just means that it's ocean bound plastic. It's not actually glass, but yeah, it just feels like it could be. So a really decent, touchpad there by the looks of it. And the keys, yeah, feeling that sort of classic, slightly deeper key travel from the Acer keyboard. You'll notice that I've got the American style layout here. So this is a US model. So I've got the split return key. I do believe in the UK, we're still going to get the larger return key and other regions that would expect to see that. We've got the newer keyboard layout too for Chromebooks. So we've got the new keys like the quick insert key over where the launcher used to be here on the left. And that means we've got the new G branded launcher down on the bottom, as well as the function key with all of those top row keys branded with their own F value as well for the function value. It's also worth mentioning a couple of options when it comes to the keyboard. So this one isn't backlit, but there is an option to watch out for. And there's also an optional fingerprint reader to keep an eye out for on some specs. I've got the Chromebook set up with my test user and everything's looking good. 
Just to recap the main spec and model options on this line, so for the processor you've either got the Intel Core 3100U like I have here, or the very similar Core i3 13th gen processor, or the higher spec Core 5 120U, or there's even options with up to the Core 7 150U, but I haven't seen any options with that processor in the UK at least. Either way, you should see Chrome OS updates all the way through to June 2033. For RAM, most like the one I have here will have 8 gig of low power DDR5 RAM, but you may see options of up to 16 gig. And for storage, I've got 128 gig of universal flash storage, but you'll also see 256 gig and 512 gig NVMe SSDs. Really, with any of these specs, I don't expect performance for everyday browsing and Android apps to be much of an issue, but it's nice to have a bit of choice there. There. And as you can see here, Real Racing 3 is running nicely as expected. It's worth also being aware of this, it's the Chromebook Plus 514 6H model line, and it's powered by the 2025 Intel Core 3 N355 processor. This looks more like the direct successor to last year's popular 4H or HT model line, which used the previous gen processor, so that was the Intel Core i3 N355 that we found in that and many other Chromebook Plus models. Software-wise, you're getting all the benefits of Chromebook Plus that you may or may not be familiar with. I'll link you to a video that may help there. One example on screen now is the ability to use the Magic Editor in the Google Photos app on the Chromebook itself. Checking out the IPS display, it's 14 inches in a taller 16 by 10 aspect ratio. It's got a WUXGA resolution, so that runs at 1920 by 1200. And I believe it's a claimed 300 nits of brightness, and it certainly looks fairly bright in person. And it's got more of a matte finish to it. Color-wise, it's not gonna blow you away, I don't believe, because it states that it's covering 45% of the NTSC color space, but it should still look good and seems to on first impressions here. And the bezels, I think they're pretty well sized for a Chromebook of this class and size. There is also a touch display option. I don't have that here, but I believe that will be the CB514-5HT model line. But of course, double check any spec you're looking at carefully. At the top of the display, you'll find the webcam. So on this model, I've got a full HD webcam, but again, there are model options with a quad HD camera. Either way, you'll get this new design for the manual privacy slider, which on initial impressions, I think I quite like. I'm using my left hand here, so I don't have to reach over the lens, but it would feel more natural to reach up with my right hand. And for that reason, I think, why didn't they put that control on the right-hand side of the lens? But let's see how I get on with it before I put out my full review. If you're still watching, please don't forget a like for the video, as hopefully it means it's been useful. Do drop a comment with any questions as usual. And if you fancy another Chromebook video to watch next, the YouTube algorithm thinks you're gonna like the one on screen now. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get notified for when I publish the full review. Cheers.